CIET NCERT presents audiobook of mathematics for class 5 entitled Math Magic 5 page 165 chapter 12 smart charts part 2 hot and cold have you seen the weather report on TV or in a newspaper? These are two bar charts. These show the highest temperature in degrees Celsius in four cities on two different days. The cities are Delhi, Shimla, Bangalore and Jaisalmer. Below this we see a picture of a boy standing on a beach under the hot sun and wondering what's life like. Towards the right we have two bar charts. The dates are for 1 June and 1 December. The temperatures on the vertical scale are between 10 degrees Celsius and 40 degrees Celsius. The four different cities Delhi, Shimla, Bangalore and Jaisalmer are shown through bars with their respective temperatures mentioned. Find out from the bar chart which city is the hottest on 1st June? Which city is the coldest on 1st December? Which city shows little change in temperature on the two days, 1st June and 1st December? Try yourself. On any one day, choose any three cities and record their temperature from the TV or newspaper. Make a bar chart in your notebook and ask your friends a few questions about it. See if they understand your chart. For the teacher, encourage children to look at the map of India to locate different cities. They can try to relate the temperature variations in a city to get an idea of the climate there. Page 166 Rabbits in Australia Earlier there were no rabbits in Australia. Rabbits were brought to Australia around the year 1780. At that time there were no animals in Australia which ate rabbits. So the rabbits began to multiply at a very fast rate. Imagine what they did to the crops. The table shows how rabbits grew every year. We have a two-column table below this. Column 1 says time, column 2 says number of rabbits. Let's read the table row-wise. Start, 10, 1 year, 18, 2 year, 32, 3 year, 58, 4 year, 108, 5 year, dash, 6 year, dash. 1. After each year the number of rabbits was a. A little less than double the number of rabbits in the last year b. Double the number in the last year c. Eight more than the number in the last year or d. More than double the number of rabbits in the last year. 2. At the end of year 6, the number of rabbits was close to 400, 600 or 800. Tick the correct one. 3. After which year did the number of rabbits cross 1000? For the teacher. More such examples should be done in class. It is important for children to get a sense of approximation. Page 167 Family Tree Madhav went to a wedding along with his parents. He met many relatives there, but he didn't know every one. He met his mother's grandfather, but found that her grandmother is not alive. He also found that her dadi's mother, grandmother's mother, is still alive and is more than a hundred years old. 
on the top right corner of the page, there is a picture of Madhav at the wedding along with his parents. Madhav got confused. He couldn't imagine his mother's grandmother's mother. So, Madhav's mother made a family tree for him. On the page, a big family tree made by Madhav's mother for him. It starts from great-great-grandparents, fifth generation, comes to great-grandparents, fourth generation, then to grandparents, third generation, to Madhav's parents, second generation, and finally to Madhav, first generation. Page 168 Madhav's mother helped him understand her family with the help of this drawing. You can also find out about your older generations using such a family tree. Answer these questions. 1. How many grandparents in all does Shobhna have? 2. How many great-great-grandparents in all does Madhav have? 3. How many elders will be in the seventh generation of his family? 4. If he takes his family tree forward, in which generation will he find 128 elders? Growth Chart of a Plant Amit sowed a few seeds of moong dal in the ground. The height of the plant grew to 1.4 cm in the first four days. After that, it started growing faster. Amit measured the height of the plant after every four days and put a dot on the chart. For example, if you look at the dot marked on the fourth day, you can see on the left side scale that it is 1.4 cm high. Now, look at the height of each dot in centimeters and check from the table if he has marked the dots correctly. We have a table with two columns on the page. Column 1 tells day, column 2, length of the plant in centimeters. Observe the table carefully. Page 169 We see the chart created by Amit on this page. On the horizontal axis, days are shown from 0 to 20. On the vertical axis, we see the length of plant in centimeters. So, it's a scale going from 0 to 12 and the many red dots will make things clear for you. Find out from the growth chart A. Between which days did the length of the plant change the most? 1. 0 to 4 2. 4 to 8 3. 8 to 12 4. 12 to 16 or 5. 16 to 20 B. What could be the length of this plant on the 14th day? Guess. 1. 8.7 cm 2. 9.9 cm 3. 10.2 cm or 4. 10.5 cm C. Will the plant keep growing all the time? What will be its length on the 100th day? Make a guess. For the teacher, there should be some discussion on the last question. Children should be encouraged to observe growth patterns of many other plants and animals. The Chapter 12 Smart Charts Part 2 Ends here. Sound Recordists Butelang Lingdo and Mayank Kumar Assistance in Production by Jagbandhu Jana Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary This book was presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India